So Fox and Friends is getting slammed after a misleading graphic went viral on the internet. Now, uh, this started on Friday when President Trump announced that he will be cutting aid to the countries of El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras over their lack of efforts in stopping the migrants from leaving their borders and coming up to America. Uh, Now, he also separately threatened to close the border with Mexico, which would be an unmitigated disaster economically for the United States. (laughs) I mean... Come on, man. Now, this whole thing with El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras led to this hilarious graphic. I want you to show you. I want to show you this one. Um, here we go. Trump cuts aid to three Mexican countries. Mexican countries. Now, look, I I don't know if Fox viewers know this, but El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras are not Mexican countries. They are all independent nations that are located south of Mexico in Central America. Mexico is not actually a part of Central America. Mexico is part of North America. I know that sounds weird because what are you talking about? Mexico is south of us but still part of North America. And again, these countries are Central America. So, little geography lesson, right? Now, another fun fact here, since that's what we're doing. Uh, Many of the migrants coming to the U.S. are doing so. Oh, first, they're coming and claiming asylum because of horrific conditions. Now, for that, you have gang violence, rampant poverty, political upheaval, Uh, governmental corruption. These are just some of the conditions that are making people, forcing people from their homes. Now, think about if you're in that position, right? So think about if you're worried about the gang violence. Now, the right-wingers love to think about Chicago, right? So what if people in Chicago decide they want to migrate up to Canada, right? In order to get rid of uh, or, or to get away from that gang violence, You'd be okay with that, wouldn't you? Uh, maybe Canada wouldn't be. But right when you're... Sub- you probably understand, right? Or, or maybe you wouldn't. But it's kind of like that. You have gang violence. You have people being murdered and recruited into gangs. I mean, if they're not... If they don't actually join the gang, then they and their families get brutally murdered. You get political repression, massive corruption. It's not a good place to live at this moment. And a lot of it is actually our fault because of our war on drugs that has failed. And, of course, we have meddled in the affairs of some of those countries down there as well. Uh, so, look, <laughs> it's, it's not, a good, not a good situation for migrants. And so, yes, they are coming through Mexico to America. Now, the United States, in recent uh, years has said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give aid to these countries. We're going to give them, you know, a couple billion dollars, help them out, try to stabilize their countries a little bit. And so make it so that migrants don't want to come here, right? Now Trump says, I'm going to take away that aid. Well, wait, so if you take away that aid, wouldn't that lead to potentially more people migrating to the United States to get away from that? Trump might, might want to think about that for a second here. I mean, it would make sense. Uh, And while he's thinking about that, while he's kind of mulling it over, I'm going to read a few of these awesome responses to this ridiculous graphic. Kimberly Phillips said, I woke up this morning thinking there was only one Mexican country. Thanks, Fox News, for the education. Mm. Stephanie Rule said, can't help but feel a little disappointed. It was great to spend spring break with my family, but we only got to see one of the three Mexican nations. Hashtag... Better luck next time. Uh, Casey's Notion says, Quick, someone asked Fox News which continent Mexico is on. (laughs) Which is great. Dr. Keisha B says, North Mexico, South Mexico, and Mexiopotamia. Oh, I like that. (laughs) And uh, Max Kennerly points out an injustice here. Really unfair how Mexico gets to have three plus teams at the World Cup. The North Mexico, South Mexico, and the Mexican team. 
of course. And Paolo Ramos says, quote, that is how they see us at Fox News. Mm. So I love that last point. Because I think most of the narrative around this is how stupid the people at Fox are for putting up that graphic. I actually disagree. And this is what's interesting. I actually think that this is on purpose. This is targeted. I think it was intentional. Fox News has shown that it's a propaganda outlet. And so, now later on you can point out, wait, Jeff, that doesn't make any sense because Fox News apologized for making that mistake. But did they? Just because you apologize for something doesn't mean you didn't do it on purpose. That it was an accident. Um, now you might be wondering, but why would they do that? Why? Well, it's because they know their audience. They do. We know that Fox News viewers are less informed than viewers of any other cable news channel. People who don't watch Fox News at all are actually better informed than Fox News viewers. And why is that? Because Fox News has an agenda, right? They know their audience, and so when they label these countries as Mexican nations, they know that that's going to click in the brains of some of their viewers. Oh, Mexico. We're supposed to hate Mexico. We're supposed to hate Mexicans. But when you say like El Salvador and, and Honduras and Guatemala, they don't know where these countries are. Where's that? I can't find that on a map, says the average Fox News viewer. And you know what? That's actually okay because you are A, not a news person, right? You're regular Joe, regular stiff, working in a factory in Pennsylvania. If you don't know what, where Guatemala is, I don't care. That's not a big deal. But odds are you do know where Mexico is. And Mexico, again, is something that Trump and the Republican Party have conditioned you to hate. Mexico, oh, they're stealing our jobs, man. I, Trump himself, at the beginning of his presidency, Way back in 20, or I'm sorry, his campaign, way back in 2015, people from Mexico, they're, Mexico's not sending us their best. They're rapists, they're criminals, and some I assume are good people. Then you have people like Steve King, who said for every valid Victorian, and talking about the Dreamers, which some are from Mexico, South America, uh, Central America, for every valid Victorian, there's people who are, you know, weigh, I don't know, like 150 pounds or whatever, that have calves the size of cantaloupes from running drugs, you know, carrying 50 pounds of marijuana across the, the southern border. I know I butchered that, but that's essentially what he said. They want you to hate Mexico. So when they say, oh, Mexican nations, you know, we're going to cut off aid to the Mexican nations. There's a point in that. They think of Latinos and Mexicans as the same thing. Despite, of course, it not being the same, uh, despite the fact that you have, uh, you know, immigration, illegal immigration from Mexico itself, the country of Mexico at a low point, doesn't matter to them because they don't do nuance. They just don't. It doesn't exist in the far right. To them... Mexico bad, immigration bad, migrants bad, Trump good, wall good, make America great. And the fact that, that, the fact that a Fox News had apologized means nothing. Because at the end of the day, for the audience, message received. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation, set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. 
and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.